Classic TV fans, Rick and IG here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about our beloved veterans on this Memorial Day 2023. I want to thank all of you for joining me today. I thought I should make a unique video celebrating all of the men and women who have served the United States through the United States military by highlighting five famous television actors in the classic era, which is what I cover, who have served in the military. These are people who you may not have known. I have covered all of these shows, which these individuals have been on, and you may be really surprised to find out that these individuals did serve in the United States military. Let's get right to it. I will cover five of them, and the first show will be The Addams Family. Now, there were many people on the Adams family, Gomez and Morticia Adams, as well as the extended family, people like Lurch, Uncle Fester, Grandmama, the kids, right? But you may not know that the man who played Uncle Fester was actually in the military. And it's it, there's a little more to it than that. He was one of the first young child actors playing opposed or playing with Charlie Chaplin. He was the little boy. He was the kid. He grew up. His name is, of course, Jackie Coogan. He was born in 1914. I mean, and who didn't love him as Uncle Fester on The Addams Family? Now, he enlisted in the U.S. Army in March of 41 after the attack of Pearl Harbor. Now, he requested a transfer to the Army Air Forces as a glider pilot because he did fly planes when he was a civilian. Now, he advanced or he graduated from an advanced glider school with a glider pilot aeronautical rating and the flight rank of an officer, and he volunteered for hazardous du duty while he was in the 1st Air Commando Group. In December of 43, he flew British troops behind enemy lines and landed them at night in a small jungle clearing 100 miles behind, behind the Japanese lines in a Burma campaign. I think that is absolutely amazing. Wonderful actor, wonderful man, and a true hero. Now, who can forget the amazing show Get Smart and its titular character, Don Adams. Now, Don Adams is amazing as, of course, Agent 86. He is fantastic, super funny, born in 1923. And yes, he was a veteran. He served in World War II. In fact, in 1941, he joined the U.S. Marine Corps and he went to first training battalion in North Carolina and was assigned to 1st Company of the 3rd Battalion, 8th Marines in San Diego. Now in 42, his unit was transported to Samoa for more training and then he participated in the Battle of Guadalcanal, August of 42, which is absolutely amazing. Now he was not wounded in combat, some people think that he was, but he did contract Blackwater Fever, it's a serious complication of malaria and it has a huge mortality rate or fatality rate and he was evacuated and then hospitalized for more than a year at the Navy hospital and he did recover and he became a Marine drill instructor, which is pretty amazing and he held the rank of a corporal. He was an expert marksman and he was very good at what he did. Not only was he a great actor, but a true hero. Now, who can forget Gilligan's Island and a wonderful professor, right? And the rest. But later they named him the Professor and Marianne in the theme song. Was born in 1924 and yes, he had a military career as well. After graduating from high school, he enlisted in the United States Army Air Forces as an aviation cadet. Now, he was commissioned as a second lieutenant. He actually flew 44 combat missions in the Pacific Theater during World War II as a bombardier in the B-25 twin engine medium bombers. Now in 45, he was flying as a navigator in the B-25 with the 100th Bombardment Squadron, 42nd Bombardment Group, 13 Air Force. His B-25 and two others were shot down during a low level bombing and strafing run against Japanese military targets in the Philippine Islands. Now, during landing, he broke both ankles and his co-pilot was killed and he did receive a Purple Heart for his injuries. He was awarded the Air Medal, the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal, and three campaign stars, the Philippine Liberation Ribbon with one campaign star and the World War II Victory Medal. Now, he was honorably discharged as a first lieutenant in 45 and then joined the United States Air Force Reserve. 
that is a mouthful. He won so many awards, and little did we know that he was actually in the military. He did serve honorably, was injured, received a Purple Heart, my goodness, and was a fantastic actor and, yes, a true hero. Now, who can forget the amazing show, Hogan's Heroes? I've covered it extensively on this channel. And who do you think might have served in the United States military? There were a lot of Germans, quote unquote, on the show. Well, yes, John Banner. Wait, are you talking about Sergeant Schultz? Yes, Bumbling Schultz, played by the amazing John Banner, who was not bumbling. That was just his amazing acting skills. He was in the United States military. In fact, in 1942, he enlisted in the Army Air Corps. He underwent basic training in Atlantic City and became a supply sergeant. He even posed for a recruiting poster, which here it is. This is him a lot younger, but this is him, John Banner, and he served up until 1945. He was, in fact, a Holocaust survivor, and he lost a lot of his family to this horrific event. Again, another hero, but a man who played the enemy, essentially, made us laugh, and it was just so amazing to see him on screen and all that he offered to his country. And finally, my favorite show of all time, I Love Lucy. And you may think, wait, someone from I Love Lucy was in the military? Yeah, this may not be who you expected. Desi Arnaz or Ricky Ricardo, yes, was in the United States military. But no, you may all say, wait, but wasn't he Cuban? Well, yes, he was Cuban born and he eventually became nationalized as an American citizen. And in 1943, he received his draft notice, and he was unfortunately disqualified from service because he had hypertension and knee injuries, which caused him physical prolonged pain. Now, this was according to his physical exam. Now, he injured his left knee prior to enlisting and injured his right knee after enlisting in 43 in a baseball game. Now, he finished training and was classified for limited service in the United States Army during World War II. He was assigned to USO, and he rose to the rank of Staff Sergeant, which is pretty amazing. He received the Good Conduct Medal from the Army, the American Campaign Medal, and the World War II Victory Medal as well. Now, he served two years, seven months, and 40 days, and his primary unit was the 9th Service Command Army Services Forces, uh, which is really amazing because he tried and he was able to bring celebrities to visit hospitals and boost morale for soldiers, but he still served and he was a fantastic example to many who you know, were not originally Americans or naturally born here, but they later became American citizens. Absolutely amazing. Let me know if you knew about this. Super amazing information. A great way to honor the men and women who have served our country on this wonderful Memorial Day. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you know any other actors or celebrities from the past, from the classic era that you'd like me to mention in future videos? Let me know and which one of these surprised you the most and stood out to you. We'll see you on next time and don't forget, be hopeful. Thank you so much to my supporters, especially my Diamond Tier patrons, Terry Y, Jerry D, Citizen Kane, Jennifer P, David D, Kevin K, Sally N, and Vito L. If you want to be on this patron list, go check the links in the description for a wonderful way that you can support the channel. Thank you.